D1-1, Echo Fortis D1 win and it's also providing a stage for Echo to soak in all the knowledge, soak in all the experience they needed. Let's see by the composition, it's a Gwen. Uh, uh. Well, 100% win rate on the Lucian for Genza, so that's very good okay. to know. Okay, it's a Siege Meat and a Grave Baron Lean. Oh, okay. No, I can see that. No, with the Gwen, yeah. Because the smoke still works on Gwen even in the zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, I guess, yeah, that's gonna be a good matchup for Gwen. Gwen is Sweet person, make sure they okay. don't see him. Here comes oh, the body no! slam, here comes the flash, here comes the sonic wave, here comes the light banning, and there goes the punish for the deep end on Cerberus's deep exploration into the Echo, Echo jungle. Too bad BMM wasn't being taken down by Team Echo, but the first blood by Team Echo, it's an important point for the Team Cerberus. The, I think for Team Cerberus, they are more likely to rotate compared to Team Echo, despite the Echo needed rotation to took out anyone in Team Cerberus. What I want to see is Cerberus, uh, they probably going to be more aggressive on the top lane. And look how aggressive they try to pull in towards Team Echo. And it might be a chance for Echo to pin down La Lucian on the bottom lane. Could be, but it doesn't look like Lucian wants to stick around and oh, ready to oh, fix. Space oh, is going to no. be LT, and that's going to be an easy kill. It's a 3 3 ZL, 3 ZL was not as cautious as he should have been, but both summoner spells gonna be blown for Taku here with a full repeat here on Conquerors. It looks like when they go exploring again in the jungle of Echo Fortius, gonna be catching anything in the light, but not quite. Oh, one to one to kills, but- really, really careful. Oh, on the mid lane, is a little bit like fight. Uh, Final spot Happy White up under Carling. Put on a damage. One hit more, but oh, Flash Happy White up against it. Happy taken oh. down by the kick by Lacing. Helping on to took down Lucian. This is a 1v1 just now. 1v2. Misjudge line. Genza going in real deep to try and get that a secured kill onto Romley. Gonna take out on the process. Potentially giving up some minions here, but they managed to push up the wave, so it's gonna go onto the turret, but it looks like Lux is there. It looks like he's gonna be there to clean it up, so not quite as big of a downer as expected, but it looks like Cerberus is making servo excursions into the Echo Jungle. They've been looking for treasure, it seems, because they've been caught out multiple times there in the deep end of the jungle. But getting a lot of wards in, so I guess it is not necessarily a waste of their time, despite the fact that they might have lose is not necessarily going as the way that they expected to. Two, I think they wanted a bit more advantages, a bit more kills, but they're not necessarily getting it the way that they wanted it to. And our dragon and uh Riff are gonna be up to grabs in Right about now. Yeah, I think the Reef Herald is going to be focused by both to look at Cerberus wanting the Reef Herald first. And while Team Echo took out the Dragon, who might actually take the first objective? It's probably going to be Cerberus much more faster compared to Team Echo. And this might be a chance for them to actually took on. Oh, sadly, the Herald will be taken by Cerberus. Look at the Conquest Sleep Blast by. Team Echo, they're supposed to cast, hit someone, but it was not enough. Still, the dragon is on play for Team Ooh. Echo. Really like what they tried to do with Lacen. They're gonna get caught out in the middle. That's gonna be two down for Cerberus. BMF, that's three down. Two down for uh, Echo as well. They're on the back foot, however. Sir Dama is gonna be taken out, and three Z out. Joey doing his best to try to keep things in line, but that's gonna be another kill. That's three kills. Wait, no, four kills for Cerberus. Five to five. Or missing it out, light binding with the flashes. Gonna be enough, gonna be using the zone to make sure they can't any damage down. Flash gonna be wasted out there for the other side. This isn't quite what he expected it to be. And uh, yeah, I do like what Cerberus does though. They manage, they always keep a few people around to make sure they can disrupt Dragon when it happens with the training and out. So that if Echo decides to go in on the deep on the Dragon, they're gonna have to commit a lot of their resources, make sure that they. You know, they take a lot of hits. So when they transition down from Rift Herald, then they could potentially get a lot of kills. I like what Cerberus is doing because they don't 
they don't really disrupt them when they're doing Rift Herald, and Rift Herald is a lot easier to get the Dragon if you don't have someone in your back. Now, right now for Team Cerberus, I think they know what they have to do. Oh, listen, they're going to reach at the correct moment. 1v2 is not easy for getting to move away. It's a kill for Team Echo by on the mid lane. A little bit more dangerous ship is coming in with a Dirk calling by Lucian at the back. But look at that. Someone is actually Echo trying to pursue a final spark to go out. Someone not enough. They have to be a little bit more careful with Gragas at the back and Gwen coming in. In, wanted a kill, not a little bit more, but not enough. I think I think for Team Cerberus, they're still lacking on power. Yes, it's that's still that's on Team better. Echo. But look at the goal difference. It's not a lot. Uh oh, Silence have been taken in. They runs away. A little bit more. Nautilus is in trouble. Gagas trying to put on a damage. Oh, it's mostly because at the back, Nautilus might be taken down right now. Greg. Still time to put on a kill, but not enough. Getting backs away. One kill for Team Echo. Looks like Echo. It's actually doing better on the second game. Very nice, decent plays. I really, really like those follow-ups. Uh, like I said, the Lee, the Sin just setting things up for Lee Sin. Uh, after the throws, can jump behind them and Dragon's range them back, so there's no way they can escape. And the setup is so easy, it's point and click. There you go, 3ZL. Can he take on Taku? Taku has been absolutely destroying him. Uh -oh. It looks like the rest of them want a piece of the fire. Here you go with the LT. Is it going to be enough? There's so many oh, meteors. Flash. And no, that's going to be a pickup for 3ZL. Not bad at all, considering the fact that he was about to get dived by 3 people and the rest of his team is here to make sure that there's not enough. There's already the ward there. It gets spotted up and it sends that something is wrong. Immediately dashes away. And uh, yeah, but the, I don't think the tower is going to be going down anytime soon. Yellow Sight's here with his light spells to make sure that it doesn't get pushed down but the first target gets destroyed on the side of Genza who was very diligent while Echo's Echo's attention span was divided. Yeah, right now probably the handle would be taken between Team Cerberus and Team Echo. Looks like Team Echo is actually starting on the handle but Team Cerberus definitely knows about it. They might stop in their tracks. Oh, coming in oh, at the behind Lee Sin. Definitely took out the handle first. They wanted a kill. Jumps in as well as he cuts to move forward. And the calling not hitting towards everyone. Final spark time to take down Cerberus. Cerberus move back away. And I think it's a good team fight by Team Echo. At the same time, no one was dead, died. Free pickup for Rift Herald from Echo, but now a lot more mid pressure coming. Now, uh, probably trying to get something here. Leeson trying to go in close, but knowing that it's not going to be enough, using the Meteor Enchanted to try to get some damage on the Taku. Taku gets oh. going out, and that's going to be the ultimate down from Chiki's. Easy out to secure it, and that's going to be a tier two, tar tier one turret to go to Rift Herald that's potentially spreading down onto tier two. But Cerberus, knowing that that was pretty much a god given right, now Hanjager is going to get taken out by Genza. Genza is doing his absolute best, but Hanjager is going to be clearing out the minions at the front. He's going to have to recall, there's not much he can do, but it doesn't look like they're going to let him go out oh, of the, that no. easily. But staying alive for that long is pretty much a win in and of itself, and that's another. Uh -oh. A lot of damage coming uh -oh. down. It looks like a body slam not quite landing with the flash. Explosive cut just a little bit more. Not quite the angle I was looking for. Here we go to Sonic Wave trying to get in there. And Lee Sin doing his best here. Milita is gonna use his you're gonna use his blast to try and keep things optimal while the dragon's up and now Cerberus is a bit too low. They have people who need to recall and they're not quite ready for this, but it looks like they're not willing to give this up just yet. Yeah, they still won the inferno while bottom lane had been taken down for Team Cerberus. Look at the final spark. Oh. Lucian had finally been taken down. Genza had been taken away. This is a fight for Team Echo. They could actually take on the Inferno. Wanted us to start a team fight, but Echo wanted to play it safely. It's a little bit dangerous for Team Cerberus currently. That was a great pickup on Genza. Seeing his opportunity, seeing that it was really far from the rest of the team, Serdam went and got him. So now they would have the opportunity of their team fight, but it's not quite the slash that they expected him to be. BMs, BMM's doing so much damage. You're going to expose the chaos, knocks the back line off. Would he be able to get enough damage there while the rest of them have been pushed back? Here you go, the dragon's still getting picked up. Here we go with the smite, getting it. And that's going to be the dragon. That's going to be another kill. And the that is and Echo Forte. Grave, they got the damage. It's easier for them to split push. And here on the top lane, Lucian, the calling happy will find a spark to clear off the lane. Meter Inchan at the back. They still want to kill Lee Sin. Definitely with the kick at the back and another bombard. Bomb 
by Krakas Lizzie took on Lucian Genza. It's out from the map. This is a point for Team Echo. I absolutely love what they're doing here with Sir Dumtiger with Hanjay Girl with the flip and the Dragon Rage in the back line, getting whatever champion they feel like grabbing. And now is the back foot pushing it so much. The Baron up for grabs, but looks like BMF caught what they've been up to, but is he going to be able to, able to do anything? Here we go with Woo! that. Stone plate Gargoyle. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. Going to get taken out. Melody is going to try and follow things out. They're also low. The Baron buff uh -oh. gives them so much damage. Debuffs here. They could get taken out, so they decide to respect it because Melody has enough damage should be able to destroy all of them if they decide to stick around with the Baron debuff on them. So wisely decide to back away. Yeah, it uh, looks like both they, both they have to reset on the Baron buff. But I love what Team Sir Echo is doing right now. It's like a two two times more double the damage from Team Cerberus. But on the top lane, a little bit more dangerous coming in at the back. Flash might be have to be used, but oh oh, Gragas come in a little bit too late. What Nautilus and Nautilus will be taken down. What an outplay with the explosive cast by Gragas. Ooh. Man, poor 3XL can, 3XL cannot catch a break. Taku has been absolutely destroying him, despite the fact that this should be a very equitable matchup in theory. So, very, very sad for Thuzio right there, but nice good follow from Romley. Romley has been absolutely destroying him with the explosive cast and his body slam. So, props to Romley. You are my favorite types of broker in town. And uh, gonna be Genza clearing things out again with his culling. But it's not going to be enough to stop them. They still have a cannon mini up. They still have enough to be able to get out, down on this. With the hunt in the same part, but together. it's not quite enough just yet. Going to be get the dragon quick, but not quite the placement they wanted it to be. Going to get the dredge line. They're also oh, low. Oh. Going to be meteor enchantment. Things are looking bad for Echo 40 is right about now. When we get oh, out no. of it, Serdam gets in, gets the kill over. And now suddenly it's Cerberus on the back foot. It looks like Echo 40 has enough of foundation to get back in there with the gold. They're not going to die just yet. They have so much at their disposal. Oh. But this tier one tower is about to go down. There's no way they're going to, be able to get this oh, the out culling. of the way. Taku, the culling. Here we go now. The spin, the minions, but they're not done just quite yet. Uh, looks like they're still on a team fight right team now. Team, team Cerberus had to be a little bit more careful. Cerberus uh, in the mid lane loses one more to Echo. A uh, tree tree on their hand versus tree. All the tier one have been taken down. Not only tier one, tier two on the mid lane. Looks like Grave is in trouble. They have been taken down. Final spark to save the flash having wide open, but not enough because of the damage being dealt by Gwen. Severus is. Still I think Severus like. They're still finding something. He put in the dredge uh -oh. line. There's a quiet land just not. And now that's oh, pretty no. much free reign for them to do whatever they want. Dragon Rage into a flip. And now it's going to get taken out. That's already. BMM, that's already Duck B, and now so dangerous for Genza. Genza is the backline of this. He can't afford to go down. The culling is going to be keeping them away, but now they are close, too close for comfort. Oh, there's going to be a flash of the light band, and it's going to be a catch, and that's going to be the Sonic Wave, and now too far here for Melodias. He's on the back foot. They could be able to get this dragon. Oh. Sorry, they're going to be able to get this uh, middle turret with the demolition rune, and that's potentially the game for Echo Fortius on game two. Oh no, it looks like Cyrus. Loses a point towards Team Echo unexpectedly. I think it's a. I think for 